time of year. I start uh, decorating days before Thanksgiving, no kidding. My husband makes me holiday mixtapes that are like four hours long each, every single year is my free holiday present. Uh, and my next friend that's coming out here with Christmas less than two weeks away, well, he's got some great ideas that are fun, that are easy, that you can scramble and pull together last minute, and it'll just make your Christmas and your holidays more cheerful. Um, he's just a wonderful, wonderful half of one of my favorite couples. Anyway, let's just get him out here. Uh, this is my friend David Burka. <laughs> Patrick Harris. David is a fabulous award-winning star of stage, of course, but did you guys know he's also a fabulous chef? And they have two beautiful children. So now you're very crafty, too. Oh, I am crafty. With kids, you have to be crafty. You have to be crafty with, with kids, but I love learning about crafts because I'm craft challenged. <laughs> I am so bad at crafts, and I want to feel better. So this is stuff everybody could do, right? For sure, everybody. And it's, it's great because you can get your kids involved, and then you can step away and get your wrapping done, cooking finished, get them on a, get on them a project, on a project yeah. and, and just go. I love that. Oh, look at the kids. Ah! So this is something that we do um, every year. Oh. Yes, they're very cute. That was taken a couple of years ago, actually. But we do this thing every year. We do a cookie decorating party. We invite all their friends over, and we have them in the, them in the afternoon, and we decorate cookies, and I make a ton of dough. And you can make your dough even before Thanksgiving, even before that. You can do, like, three months before and just freeze it all. Yeah, my sister starts all of... She's the cookie factory for our family, and she starts in October, dude. Yeah, you know, <laughs> just put it in the freezer. Yeah. And whenever you want to do it, especially with these sugar cookies, right. you can just roll them out, take them out of the freezer and roll them out. You can make um, different shapes but and just get the kids. what a fun project and an easy way to invite all of the kids over from the building or the neighborhood. For sure. Right? Yeah, you get, you wrap the whole tables with plastic. Get everything like I, in, Oh, in that's that a great tip. You wrap the entire table with plastic, easy cleanup, hello. Or you give them sheet trays. Oh, nice. And they just do it on a sheet tray. You get everything kneesed out. You get all of your, your um, so you get squeeze bottles. It's nice and easy cleanup. You have sprinkles, all the different things. And it's easy just for them to just go ahead and do it. You cut them out. No, I love and the squeeze on a, bottle instead of a pastry bag, yeah, which go. is so hard for so a child, hard for a child. To use, right? And then you put them on a cookie sheet. You Can bake I decorate them. some of these? Yeah, let's decorate them. Yay! And then what we, what we used to do with um, our family is we'd have the kids in the morning, and then the, and when the kids were starting to go to bed, all the adults would come over, and these cookies would get a little naughty. Maybe they oh! be anatomically correct. I love that. It's great. It's great. I am going to have a dirty gingerbread party. I'm starting a new tradition, man. Why well, I better not? not start drawing while I got that on my mind. <laughs> Yeah, I mean it's it's a fun it's a fun time. Good good times. I mean that's not that great. No, it's but, easy. But it's, but, the, it's but there's other things to do, other crafts. Okay, where this, are we going? Over, over here? here? Okay. Over here, we're moving on. Moving We've on. We've got our cookie decorating. And it's great, another great present for people is that you get cookies, you bake all these cookies, and then you give them, you just keep a bunch of tins out. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you just anytime My someone office comes over, is stacked with tins. They're waiting for the cookies that exactly. will come next week, right? You, you have the tins and you just load them up and say someone brings a host gift and you don't have something for them. We're like, you go back and you pass got and just tin of cookies. put the tins in and they're like, oh, we got you something. Oh, how thoughtful. <laughs> right. So this is a really great thing. There are bunch of, bunches of little things that we like to do with Christmas trees. Now, we have a kid's tree in our house, an adult tree. Yeah, yeah. So we've got the one that looks like, you know, the magazine with the gold and the white and the silver, and that's it. I do it. this, too. This is so weird. I have oh, the white our kids tree, tree and the kid's tree. There's our kid's tree. We do popcorn string. Oh, nice. And there's a lots of uh, little ornaments that they've made or that I've made when I was a young kid. Like, this was from 1982. <laughs> Aww. That I made of myself. And, and then the kids last year, we got all these shells from the Hamptons. And so they That's decorated beautiful. these. They that just painted really them and good. put glitter on it. And then we put a picture of ourselves on Aww. the back from the Burke Harris family. That is adorable. But this is a fun thing. This is a fun thing to do with kids. You take these, you get these little clothespin reindeers. I don't know if, I know, I did this when I was in preschool. Oh my God, they're adorable. It's a they're, little Rudolph. Yeah, they're fantastic. It's a little Rudolph. And you just hot glue gun them together because hot glue gun is amazing. I want a hot glue gun for Christmas. I, apparently you can do everything in the world with it except make dinner and I already got that covered. <laughs> so then you, you just 
Pop them in, you get eyes, little eyes, a little nose. And a little rain, look, a little red reindeer And that's nose. what it looks like, Isn't yeah. It's sweet. For sure, half blue guys. David, these what are, are these? These, these are, are great. great. You just get these frames. I mean, you can get them from Bad Bath & Beyond or any Aaron, Aaron Brothers or whatever. And you just get ones with jingle bells. Any of the little dollar stores have dollar little stores frames for like sure. this. Fill them and with, the kids look put at stickers your, and your glitter. Your in there. Oh. Yeah, stickers, glitter, whatever you want to do. And these are great gifts, too, for people. Were these more seashells? These are more seashells, sand dollars. Look at you the can sand decorate. dollars. Isn't that beautiful? And the kids can get involved. And, they, and, and it's a nice thing. I think every year we do a gift from them. I mean, even when they were one and two years old, they, the only thing they could really do is take pipe cleaner and take beads. And they Aww. gave out little bracelets to everybody. Aww. I mean, and this year we're doing, I think we're doing homemade buttons. Button makers always. Oh, that's cool. They, I they get to buttons. pick their pack pictures. and Nice. But I hope my family's not watching because that's what you're getting from the game. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. This is another. Okay, show me more. This is another really great thing to do. I mean, it's, it's cheap. It's, it's thoughtful, it's wonderful, and it, it serves as a great decoration for your house. So what I do is just get these plain glass I have a million vases. of these underneath the sink. I, I mean, feel guilty throwing them away when people send flowers, so I have like 50 of these. I don't well, know why. One of my pet peeves as a host is that when you're cooking and you're getting everything ready, right. someone comes with cut flowers. Right. And you have to stop, you have to take the flowers, right. you gotta cut them, you gotta put them in the vase. One of my pet peeves is that I don't want to do that. Just bring some. Because you're cooking. Right? Yeah, bring, bring it in a vase. And this is a really easy thing to do. Take some cranberries here. Right. Um, and fill up, your, fill up your vase with cranberries. And it, it's got your really nice base. We've got cranberry party here. We're going to have cranberry sauce pretty soon. <laughs> so then you just take some beautiful flowers. You've got evergreen. And the thing is, is that I like to do, I like to just find out what's in nature. You know, I like just to- Just like you cook seasonally, right? Yeah, yeah. Just go, you don't have to go spend a ton of money on decorations because you've got stuff outside. You've got stuff, you know- you Another even... great thing for the kids to exactly. do. Exactly. Go, go collect pine cones, honey. For sure. <laughs> you, could also, you could also take this stuff too and you could spray it. You could spray it gold. Maybe oh, you, put you could some spray it gold or white gold or, or silver. Gold or white or silver. And yeah, yeah, yeah. That. And then I, you could even, you know, these crimson peonies are beautiful, but but you can substitute red roses or carnations if you're, you know, on a budget. Nice. But yeah, it's just a beautiful. I love peonies, don't you? I do too. They're, They're one of my such favorite a flowers. Such cheerful flower. Um, and you could just. This is a really great thing because it comes from the heart. You've done it yourself, and you spent no money no whatsoever. No money. And if you live up in the country, we don't really have too many great florists, you know what I mean? For sure. Although my friend Susan runs Finishing Touches, and I gotta tell you, if you live in upstate New York, she's a godsend. That's not so bad, actually. That's beautiful. I think that's fine. Gorgeous. And you can find all this stuff in your backyard. Yeah. I like to decorate very seasonally, like I, like I cook. Yeah, me as too. As well, so yeah. find, find what's out there. Find what's, yours is way better than mine. I beat David at something! I'm not done, I'm not done. <laughs>